My name is Nora Bateson, and I'm a filmmaker, um, a teacher, lecturer, writer. And I came to Talberg uh, on the invitation of Boo Ekman, who, um, who's one of those people who somehow seems to be a, a, a maelstrom of m magical connections. Uh, and so it's been great to not only get to know Boo, but also the whole Talberg uh, Talberg. Is that, is that very better? Nice. Okay, yes, very good. Um, community and uh, what an amazing group of people. I think that uh, having spoken at a lot of different conferences and been a part of many sort of similar enterprises on the on the level that. Um, what's interesting about this sort of thing, uh, and I'm using the term loosely because it's it's a rare, it's a rare animal, the 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 Taliban forum, um, but the issue and the 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 opportunity of having lots of people from different backgrounds and different professions be in conversation together and be sharing their their knowledge and experience um, ideas and and hopefully some of their raw uncultivated untested thoughts um, at, and what I have noticed it at at this forum in particular is um, that it's really unapologetic that there are entrepreneurs and there are philanthropists and there are artists and everybody's at the top of their game and um, and here to to reach each other um, and you know any one of those sort of groups can get pretty righteous about their particular place in life and feel judged by the others, uh, you know, philanthropists and artists aren't generally great bedfellows with politicians and entrepreneurs, and yet they all need each other desperately, and that's sort of the underlying um, the underlying reality is that that we do need each other. Um, so what I what I saw this this time at this at this forum was that in all these groups, in many different disciplines, there is a, a very serious and sincere quest for how do we, um, how do we utilize the existing systems toward change? How do we change the systems toward another way of living? How do we generate innovative, new ideas and new possibilities toward getting out of some of these traps that we've gotten ourselves in. And by that I mean, um, you know, everything from agriculture and the issues of, of genetically modified food and um, distribution of food, poverty, starvation, to questions of the music industry and uh, how to deal with copyright and what to do about what's going on in Syria right now. Um, so there's a, a very real and very deep sense of, of acute need. Um, and I'm not using the word despair because I don't think it really has a place here. Uh, there's no room for that. There's no time for that. And the, the, the rhetoric, the dialogue has not gone there at all. But here we are trying to find ways to, to get through this threshold of, of stuckness that we, we're, we're, we're all in it as artists, as politicians, as economists, as entrepreneurs, everyone's there. My film, An Ecology of Mind, that I, I brought to Tel Berry this year uh, is a film that is, it's about my father and uh, his ideas, but it's also about a, a kind of way of being in relationship, not only to people that we love, but also to the world around us. And 
utilizing the metaphor of the father-daughter relationship as, as really a baseline for the other relationships that we generate that maybe seem more abstract. Um, our relationship with nature, our relationship with ideas, our relationship with, um, with the aesthetic and ethics. Um, so that's, that's sort of what my film is about. It's always tricky to say, you know, what is this movie? I guess to sum it up quickly is to say it's about the way that we think and the way that we see the world. Um, the film and, and also in my work, uh, there's a focus on, um, on perception as being really the primary step that until we can take a look at the way that we see the world and notice that that is what's informing our actions. Um, that it's, it's, it's almost dangerous to rush to action because the problem is, is at another level. Um, and, and action that gets rushed into very often becomes a source of more problems, almost always. <laughs> so, um, so my work has been in trying to articulate um, a way of perceiving the world that focuses on the interdependencies and the very delicate interrelationships of what holds the world together. You are not you. You are a, a, a lot of relationships, not only between your biological organs, but also your emotions and your family and your work and your relationship to nature and the seasons and the country that you live in and the whole biosphere and so on and so forth. The ideas you generate, the learning you cultivate. All of that is part of a giant soup that, that you're in. You're in, you're not of. And um, so that that's, I think, a, a beginning point for starting to see the world in a different way so that when we do take action, the actions we take are in support of those interdependencies, not destroying them, if we can help it. I mean, we're going to make mistakes. That's part of it, and learning is part of it. But we can at least try. I guess I, I would also like to stress that I, I think that, um, that this forum is important because we need to have places where we can generate conversation at another level. Um, when I look at what this stuckness is, how do we fix this, how do we solve that problem, um, which is really, collectively, that's the question in every realm. Education, psychology, every form of social inf infrastructure, um, certainly in the economic realm, we're facing this everywhere. And we really need to be able to generate a new level of communication between disciplines, between perspectives, between possibilities so that we can not find solutions, but expand and broaden the breadth of our understanding. And that out of a larger understanding, new things will emerge. But I think the quest is for deeper understanding, not for solutions. And um, I've been happy to see that here.